Hi guys, Wonder Raiders here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one today then, we'll be talking about the full-time result and reviewing the game between Millwall and Swansea City, where Swansea City ran out 3-0 winners. That's back-to-back -back wins for the Swans, first time this season, first away win for the Swans this season, and also another 3-0 win, which is very, very good to see. So yeah, two games in a row now, we've won 3-0 in a row. Very, very rare to say that as well. Two clean sheets now as well. So yeah, things are really looking positive under my Michael Duffels obviously had a really tricky start to the season, obviously losing the South Wales derby as well. But recently, you know, it's been going quite well. Like I said, defensively, you look a lot stronger. Uh, we're creating chances and we're actually finishing our chances as well, even though we've lost like the likes of Joel Perot, um, which is very, very key for us. But obviously, Swan City then uh, started quite well into this game. Got a penalty in the opening 20 minutes. Uh, it was a silly foul from the Millwall defender. Paul and Jerry eats his shirt. Always going to be a penalty. Referee took a long time to give it, but I think the uh, linesman must have had a word in his ear. He gave him the end and Jamal Lowe, just like he did against Sheffield Wednesday last week, to open the score from the penalty spot. Very, very confident penalty from Jamal Lowe. Again, quite surprised he is taking the penalties. Obviously, Matt Grimes took one against Bournemouth, uh, executed that superbly. Obviously, you had Jerry eats Liam Cullen also on the pitch as well. Uh, Liam Cullen has scored penalties for us in the past in the lockdown season. Obviously, Jerry eats scored for Blackpool with them. Uh, as well, but yeah, going into half time, one up, you know, we all created a few chances, nothing major. Swan City were controlling the game, uh, but we all did look sharp on the counter attack. Swan City then made it 2 0, uh, about 10 15 minutes after half time. Matt Grimes of a sharp side of the box lock, the keeper should save it. Blankowski's poor goalkeeper goes right under his arms. But if anyone remembers the game we had against Millwall last season at the day, Andy Fisher uh, made a shock and a mistake for one of the goals, similar to this, really. So, again, it's one of these things in football it happens to every single team, it happens to every single player. You will make mistakes and it's just like to see a little bit of karma come on our side for a change and yeah Miller had a few good chances after that you know Carlos Schroeder had a few excellent saves to get bucked as well for time wasted uh, but the main thing for me is Mikola Kukrovic getting his first Swansea City goal which is absolutely amazing to see look it's a fantastic fantastic header it's great work for Jamalo to win the ball back from the high press that's something I do want to mention uh, the press save for Swansea City was fantastic at times and you know what we saw today or what we saw last week is what we want to see from a Michael Duff team you know high energy, high uh, press and high tempo, maybe you know not the great free throw in football but we want to see that high tempo, uh, Duff mentioned in pre-season brilliant from Jamal Lowe, it's a good ball in from Josh Key as well and we call a cook of at the back post, it's a fantastic head lock, I think if we have Joel Pro in that situation he doesn't score that, obviously Joel Pro's got a lot of different you know, specialities than cook of but I generally don't think any of those strikers in the last couple of years would score that apart from Fernando Lorente, I can't name another striker that we've had in the last five five years that you know who'd score ahead it's a fantastic head and for someone who hasn't scored this season you know he took that away like a prime r9 fantastic head and yeah so City you went out three no winners like i said Mill no could have had a goal or two but you know every team in football will get chances so it's all about you know keeping the team quiet and look back back clean sheet fantastic conference for carl rush like i said had a fantastic game uh for command with darlings a pair looked a lot confident as well as back-to-back clean sheets for them as well obviously wood went off and again i just think we look better with O'Neill for I just think, you know, it's less passing, essentially. More focused on defensive style of play. Only a little bit concerned for me is probably going a bit defensive a bit too early on you know as soon as we got the second he went to the five of the back brought Josh Tymer on so you know maybe you can score stay that four of the back a little bit longer just in case you know if Mill did get a goal back then you know we'd be looking a little bit nervy but the only little concern again is probably Jerry it's going off half time a little bit of an injury for he had a decent game obviously winning the penalty so hopefully you know he will be okay for that game against Norwich on Wednesday because our injury list at the moment is not great at all it was great to see Liam Walsh in the match three squad as well his first time under Michael Duff obviously he is a very injury prone player but again like I said a 3-0 win away to Millwall yes you know their home form is a bit sketchy but you know Millwall again at home are a decent side uh, as we saw last season you know they will be in around uh, the top 12 this season so to go away from home when we've not done great this season not one away from home to go there uh, for a convincing display and get back to back 3-0 wins is just fantastic and look you know there's a lot of critics about Michael Duff I was probably one of the l um, last critics about Michael Duff you know it's very late to the party criticising him but I think you know he's doing a very very good job at this current moment in terms of you know really turning the style of play because now we are starting to uh, cock essentially we are starting to really see Michael Duff's team and you know I'm really really looking forward to Wednesday you know we've got some tricky games coming up we've got Norwich and Plymouth you know both of those had results say Norwich beating uh, Birmingham City uh, two goals and then obviously Plymouth getting a good point away to Hull so yeah got some tricky games coming up but the main thing for Swansea is now we're three unbeaten seven points in nine and you know we're really 
stand between the form. In terms of the league table, and again, it's looking great in terms of where we are on the table. We are only 19 for 9 points, but you look at some of the teams above, you know, Blackburn are only a point above us, Coventry are only 2 points above us, Birmingham are only 3 points above us, Southampton are only 4 points above us, and, you know, we're only, you know, 4 points off... Uh, I think it's uh, eighth position, yeah, we're four points off eight, which is ridiculous. So, yeah, you know, we are slowly starting to turn. Obviously, you know, you want to get the wins quicker than what we have, but look, you can't complain with a free run victory. I thought Bashi Humphreys did quite well, left back as well. Um, but, yeah, no real complaints for me. Three low winners at the den. Fantastic result for Michael Duff's men, but don't worry. You know, Michael Duff may not live in Swansea five days a week, but, you know, on this performance, who cares? Thanks for watching. Let me know your man of the match. And yeah, Son City win 3 0 for the second Saturday in a row. I feel